Welcome back. Slay the Spire once more. We uh, we had some amount of luck last time. We didn't. We tried to force some things that should not have been forced. We're going to go with uh, this guy again. I like drawing cards. What can I say? Anyways, we'll see if we can do a little bit better. Maybe be open to a little more avenues than we were last time. Maybe not. Might do the same exact thing. Obtain a random common relic. I think we go with that. I don't want to obtain no curse. I ain't got time for that. And I definitely... There's no way I wanted to do this. So we're going to... The remove a card in your deck thing could be useful, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. We can do that later. Obtain a relic. Well, we got um, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. That, I mean, that's, that's probably not as good as removing a strike or something, but, you know. All right, where do I want to go? Let's have a look-see. I think we want to go between one of these two so we can fight that elite up there. And still hit a campy. I'm going to go this way. We get more combats in. Those random things, they scare me a little bit nowadays. I think we need more chances to build like an actual archetype for our deck. See what kind of cards we get. So, you know, my style of playing Slay the Spire has changed the last few videos. I think I've leveled up a little bit. Watched some other people play it a little. You know. You know how it be. Anyways, we're going to defend just so we don't take damage. Strike him. I don't think I've gotten much better, but I think I've I think I've gotten a little bit better, at least in the theory of the game. You know, applying it, that's a little different, as you could saw in the last video. Anyways, uh, finish this man off before he you know attacks me. Oh, infinite strikes. All right, 15 gold fire potion. Don't hate to see it. We got poison. Is it trying to tell me to do this again? We got leg sweep. Two weak 11 block skewer. Deal 7 damage X times. I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to force it. But if it comes to me, we'll take the poison route. I think poison stab was the best card there, generically anyway. We'll see if I was right or not, though. Alright, well. I um, guess that's how we'll deal with that one. Alright, beautiful go. Caterpies ain't got nothing on me. That one over there felt a little erpy, so he's out. This one, he's stringing me along like a cruel woman. Happens. Alright, just uh, take him out. I ain't got time to play with no Caterpies. Alright, 11 gold. It's telling me to do it. Cost one less energy for each thing. That's not... Blur? Is Blur more important? It might be more important than Deadly Poison. Do we want Blur or do we want Deadly Poison? Um, I think we are probably just going to go with the same one we did this last video. Like, it, it's coming to me. I shouldn't have forced it last time, but this time I'm not forcing it and it's coming to me. I just don't know if I want more blocks or if I want Deadly Poison. I think I'm just going with Deadly Poison here. And if it comes up again, we'll of course go the other way. Um, I'm still going to go with more monster encounters. For the same reason I did before. We just want more chances to get good cards. Okay. We can poison stab and neutralize. And this dude's dead, right? Yeah. And then we can just do the double defend over here for this one. And there we go. Um, playing a little bit cleaner so far. If I do say so myself. I think I need to slow down the play a little bit. I mean, I've been making, you know, stupid mistakes when I shouldn't just because I'm talking and trying to play faster so it's not, you know, so much time between each part of the video. Uh, words are hard. But you, I think you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm playing bad to play faster. And I don't think that's where you want to be. We're going to double defend again to take no damage. We don't want to take more damage than we have to on the first floor. We want to be able to upgrade all of our stuff at the uh, the campfires. So, playing defensive is really where you want to be this early. This is as far as I can tell. It's just theory, man. Just strategy. I've, I've leveled up. I'm Super Saiyan. Alright, escape plan, draw a card. You gain a, if you draw a skill, gain three block. Heal hook. Heal hook. I read it as in like healing over like your health, but it's not. It's like the foot. Of course. Rambling. Deal 5 damage if the enemy has weak, gain energy, and draw a card. Piercing, well, all enemies lose 6 strength this turn. Do I want any of these cards? I'm going to skip them. 
This does not go with my block and poison strategy that I always use, apparently. Alright, we got fish man here. I guess he's a fish man. I don't know. I just work here. Alright, we're going to do this number. Now, we can do survivor. Alright, still need some more defense. Don't want to take more damage than we have to. It's fine. This is a defensive and slow deck, so let's play to its strengths. No use to get in a hurry. Just grab you a coffee, grab you a snack, whatever people grab. I'm not sure. You could grab me, but don't do that. It's probably illegal or something. I don't know. Moving on. He's like spearing me again. Why can't you just throw a net at me? Like, I really think if we can get a good version of the poison block deck, I think it'll be pretty good. Now, can we do that? Who knows? Right now, it's working out good in the first, like, three encounters of the game. So, you know, I guess you can't really base anything on that. But we are getting the cards. I'd like to see Blur again. I'd like to see some more Poison Enablers, a Catalyst. Um, I don't know. I think the game's a lot funner once you kind of understand some concepts of the game. Like, if you're playing it at entry level, and granted, I'm still playing it at entry level, it's just kind of, you know, you play cards and hope stuff works. But otherwise... I think we'll take Deflect. Um, it's not fun if you don't know what's going on. And I think for a lot of these videos, I haven't known what's going on. I, I think I know a little bit more now. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm still awful. Whenever you would die, heal 50% of your max HP instead. That seems like pretty good. All right, boys, this is going to be the one. We're going to win. What is that? Lizard Tail? Nice. I love it. Um, We really don't. I don't know, man. Like, we could go fight the elite and get a relic, which is going to be good long term in theory. And then we can go to the campy, or we can go to the campy and not get a relic. I don't. We can do like the double, double thing. I'm going to go all out here. I think this is kind of what you have to do to do well in the end game. Uh, I don't think I've ever fought this dude. Um, don't know what they do. We'll get some poison damage in there. Some neutralizers, because you can. Just strike him down while you can, boys. Do I, I don't think I need to deflect. Solid damage first turn. I think he just buffs himself and attacks a lot. Well, not too bad. Alright, there's that. And we're just going to defend some more. Defense first, boys. 20 damage already that's kind of a lot of damage and he's hitting us again for another 20 oh man let's do this all right corpse explosion is worthless add a random skill into your hand it costs zero this turn i guess i'll just take prepared that was kind of lame all right what do i want to do let's get a basic strike here so i guess we're going to double defend here and poison stab this dude's kind of rough, man. Why don't you quit attacking me? You stop attacking me right now. Dude, that's a lot. This Regal Pillow does help us rest more. Alright, so he's still continuing to attack me. Let's see how much damage we can negate. Five damage. Love to see it. Right, he's still dealing a bunch of damage, but with Deflect, he's not going to do damage to us. So, there you go. I think we're going to win. We've already gotten, you know, hurt. We'll have to use the next one to uh, recover HP, I think, instead of uh, doing anything fancy. 51 damage. See ya. This is a rough time elite for a slow deck. I'll tell you that. Stone Calendar, at the end of your turn, end, end of turn 7, deal 50 damage to all enemies. That seems good. Seems really good with the deck we're using since it takes us 15 years to get anywhere. Uh, we've gotten some good relics, I think. Bane. This is what we were missing from the last video. Like, it's automatically better than a regular strike. And then it does more damage with the poison, and we want them always poisoned. I really think I just tried to force it too much last time. I think we'll heal here and then go fight the next elite. 
I don't want to get too greedy just yet. I think the elites are going to make up for that anyway. Alright, see what you got for me here. Oh, this dude, I think this dude's not too bad for our kind of deck. Not that I'd really know. Alright, we're just going to do basic strikes here. Didn't really get too far in there, but you know. Not ideal. Would have liked to do some more poison damage. But you can't always get what you want. It's a card game. Alright, well we got Bane here. I think I'll just Bane. And then defend twice. We haven't really got the deck humming yet. But it's definitely better than it was last video. I think our relics are pretty solid. Our deck's just kind of there though right now. But I think it can get there. Alright. I guess we just poison stab and two defense. But all we can do... Still taking a little bit of damage each turn. Actually, a decent amount of damage this turn. Not happy about that. But you kind of have to do this for the relics, I think, nowadays. Uh, so... I, I don't know what this guy does when he goes to, like, fancy mode. I guess he's not attacking us. So we'll just strike him. What's he doing? We have been weakened. Don't think it affects poison. Alright, so you got neutralize. Already saved us a bunch of damage there. Our block is not working where I want it to work. So, there's that. So I'm going to complain about that. But we're not taking a lot of damage this turn. Have taken a respectable amount of damage from this guy. We'll see if it pays off. In theory it will. It's all I'll ever hold dear. I cannot kill this guy this turn. So I guess we should just super defend. Uh, not happy about this so far. Now, Stone Calendar. I don't know, does it work at the beginning of the turn or the other turn? Whatever, bane him out. You got baned, boys. Sneko Skull, this is good, right? Whenever you apply poison, apply an additional one poison. That is busted. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Each turn, poison is reduced by one. Oh, that's just... Okay, well, this is perfect. Perfect. Game one artifacts, cards. All right, all we want is poison stuff now forever. Do we even want Sucker Punch? We might want Sucker Punch. It's better than basic strikes, but I don't know if we want to... Um, I'm going to skip it. That might... I think it's one of those things that's just okay. I don't know if we can fight this other elite or not. I'm going to go this way, though. Oh, what you got for me? Shovel. You can now dig for relics at rest sites. That seems good. Um, well, I mean, it could be better, right? Do we go for the elite? Do we go for the elite? I'm going for the elite. It's starting out pretty decent. This is probably the worst one it could have been. Because we can't poison them. Now, what we can do is get this off of here and now we can neutralize it so that's a thing we can do right alright so we can poison this dude now but this I may have messed up a little bit I may have messed up alright so we'll probably just take the one damage now do I want to Bane's just automatically better than this anyway do I want to focus on this first dude first probably alright what does this do again? Gain one artifact. I think we'll save that for later. That just negates like a negative effect. Like these dudes are going to try to put crappy cards in my deck. That, there you go. And I think we can... I think we can get a better payoff in a boss or something. Alright. We might have bitten off more than we can chew here. This is rough times. I think we'll still focus this dude down. And um, I think I'll defend again twice. It's not going very well. And I hate if we die here. This is going to suck. I might have gotten a little bit too ambitious though. You know, it, it kind of happens. Like we've got a great start here, I think, to like a poisony deck. But I do need to, you know, survive. I will right, we'll deflect. Of course. Strike. 
and then you defend him. And then that's about all you can do, right? It's not going too good. We're about to kill this dude. Hopefully he'll die next turn. We can still win this fight. I just think we'll be in a bad spot afterwards. We do have to fight another dude right afterwards too. We can make it happen though. Not many defends here. All right, we can finish that dude off and strike here and then just defend and hope they stop attacking. I don't know, man. Like it's, it's going to be pretty close. I think if we actually get out of this, I've gotten a little bit too ambitious happens. All right. So we'll neutralize to kill the artifact and then we can put poison stab on here and we'll just defend cause you know, I, it actually, I might be overreacting. We might be okay, but you know how this goes. Like we could die in like one turn. Like, yeah, uh, it's happened to me several times, mostly because I don't prepare. This time, I think it was just a little ambition. All right, well, we're going to take some more damage, of course. And then, in theory, this dude will be dead next turn, so we can take less damage. Might be a little bit too late, though. Yeah, we are in trouble. Thankfully, they're both... Uh, doing that number all right so we can do the deadly poison just to get rid of the artifact and uh we'll defend because we can all right in the turn this dude's dead did i miss something why that other dude even die oh dude we had the the stone calendar that's what happened hell yeah brother i pin the every 10th attack you play deals double damage I don't know if that really gels with what we're doing. And if I can remember it, it could work, I guess, right? Lex Potion will take it. Add a card. What do you got for me? Noxious Fumes at the start of your turn. Apply two poison to all enemies. I think that is exactly where we want to be. Don't even need to read the rest of the cards. All right, it's coming together really nice. So um, if this is not an encounter that kills me, we'll be good to go. Cross your fingers. Okay, okay, we can survive this. We're good to go, I think. All right, um, remove a card in your deck. I think that's what we'll do. Upgrade a card in your deck. That might be what we do. Transform a card in your deck. Let's see what the upgrades do. Uh, let's go to our... Does this make this a knight? No, it does not. We want it to be a knight. I don't think we really need to upgrade any of this stuff. Can I go back? I don't think we can go back, so I guess I'm going to upgrade something. Do we want neutralize? Bane. That is 20 damage. That could be worth doing. Noxious fumes might be really good though. I think it's Bane or Noxious fumes. Uh, we're going to go with the whole theme and just Noxious fumes it up. In hindsight, I probably wish to remove the strike. All right, we have to rest here. No question about it. Boom. And we got an extra resty from our fancy pillow. Uh, still half dead. Okay, I think we'll go for the random encounter here. Randomly. All right, you come up to a dapper looking cheery gremlin dude. He's ready to spin a wheel. And this could go bad. Spin me. Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, that we don't die. That looks like we're dying. Oh, you lose. You spot him readying a shift. Lose 7 HP. That could have been way worse. I'm sure it could have been way better. But it is what it is. Alright, one more encounter before um, resty rest. Alright, well, um, <laughs> this is a great hand. No poison, no nothing. It could have been the hand we had on the first encounter. Whatever, just, re just, just block it all, man. Alright, get him. I need to remember pin nib up here and uh, I forgot all about the stone calendar. It's a good thing that we have a stone calendar. I think we would have lost that last five if we didn't. Uh, so defend. Just do the double defend thing here. Play it safe. Like we have the makings of a good deck. I don't want to blow it. I almost already blew it. I got lucky actually. Okay, all kinds of attacks. I don't know if Noxious Fumes is going to be 
worth here. Alright, you get poison stab him. It might be. I think we're going to take some damage. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I think deadly poison is probably better here to use. I might be crazy. What do these things do? I keep forgetting, man. I don't think the strength potion is actually worth much to us. On a, on a turn that we do a bunch of physical attacks, I guess it works. I'm sure it doesn't upgrade poison. Alright, so this dude's dead next turn, hopefully. One attack, Bane, take him out. Good day to you, sir. What do you got for me? Got my gold. Okay. Do we need any of this? Do I want deflect? I think I do want deflect. It's kind of weak, but it's also free. I'm not as high on the free cards as I used to be, but I'm still high on them. We have to rest here again. Like, I haven't... I don't think I've upgraded any cards yet. But we do have a bunch of relics, so that's the thing. Alright, um, turtle thing guy here. Alright, Noxious Fumes is exactly where you want to start. And then you poison him. Of course you do. And then him with the Bane. Not the most powerful start. But it could have been. Could have been powerful, you never know. And this dude... Uh, he's going to go to defensive mode here. we got to put him in defensive mode next turn, I think, right? That's how that works. I don't think I can. Can I? Alright, so here we're going to use strength. There's 8 damage. Love it. Alright, this strike will do 11 damage. So he's... Okay, okay. It's a good thing we actually did do that. Because uh, we would have been in trouble otherwise. I uh, don't think this matters. Yeah, it's a good thing we had the potion. I've I've began to be a potion king. All right, every tenth attack you play does double damage. So I think we. Does this do double damage? No. All right, this is worth just doing anyway. Deadly poison here, and defend. All right, it's not the best defense, but it works out, I guess. Plus, Stone Calendar is going to chunk him. Stone Calendar is busted in boss fights, it seems. Or in elite fights, either. Like, this is one of those decks that just drags everything out. So, it works out real nice. Alright, we're going to put on some defense. We're going to put on neutralize here. Alright, well, I guess we're attacking him. In the turn. We're taking a chunk of damage here. We've got a decent amount of poison build up. Uh, so, he needs to take, what, 40 damage to move? Okay. I think we can do that. He's going to do 20 damage. Well, you bane him. And you hit him with Poison Stab. And then you hit him with Survivor. I guess we're not hitting him with Survivor. We're hitting me with Survivor. Uh, it's not ideal. Never mind, we just poisoned him to death. Should have just attacked, I don't know why. That I didn't. I do, because I wasn't really paying attention. Um, probably not the best way to do things. I will strike him. Taking a little thorns damage. Now, a little thorns damage never really hurt nobody, right? right? This dude's just dead from poison. Plus, we got the calendar coming up. I don't think we did it the correct way. But we did it good enough, I guess. You just get all the defense going on. All right, well, uh, yep, thank you, Calendar, for finishing that off. It's going well. All right, Alchemize, obtain a random potion, exhaust. Is this worth? Malay's enemy loses X strength, apply X weakness. This seems like it could be really good, actually. Tools that, these actually seem all good. I don't know if we want them, though. Um, a random potion... Could be good, could be not good. Do we want my... Do I want malaise? I'm taking malaise. I've seen people use malaise. They did things with it. I haven't seen this before. Fusion hammer. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. Well, we haven't been in 15 years. Uh, Rune at pyramid at the end of your turn. You no longer discard your hands. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You 
okay, so we've used this a thousand times. I really think that this is pretty good because we haven't smithed in 15 years. That doesn't mean that we won't need to, but you know, having four energy is a big deal. All right, well, um, there's that. So I think we have a makings of a good deck. I think we might be able to finish the game this time. Who knows? We'll just have to see.